Good evening, and welcome to episode 18 of season 9 of Factory Town Pipe Mania, where we were working on this here to do thing. And I've kind of decided that we were talking the idea of if we want to build things, uh, uh, do the uh, cloth and things over here, and then have it imported. Kind of sort of just do it all in situ. Um, it makes more sense. This is not really helping us. Yeah, it's giving us a, uh, a happiness bonus, but it's not. It's not giving us any production bonus because it's not. We're not going to worry about it. We're not going to worry about it. We're just going to do everything over here in situ. Which means we need to find some more flattish land for some uh, farms to do things and a forester. But that's okay. We can we can figure that out quite. So. What do we need to do, and how many do we need? I didn't put down the uh, um, the signpost telling me how many I need, these I need. Figured out what one was. We're in a slightly different route here. So let's have a quick look at that. So eight seconds. Eight seconds for a Mark Two book. Okay, how many do you? Education. There. The Mark Two book is 140 seconds. So 140 divided by 8 is 17.5. Because this is a okay. run. Yep. So 1. 1 can do 17.5. 1 lab equals 17.5. Okay. And then this is all balanced perfectly well. So if one lab does 17.5, is that right? Yeah. Yes, 140. I oh, know we need to divide it by two, don't we? Ah, mistakes. Mistakes. 140 divided by two is 70. Divided by eight is 8.75. I thought that number seemed a little bit wrong. So, um, 8.75. There we go. Okay. Okay. So that means there's eight per house, so we need um, the same as what we got over here, which is what we got. We need, we need six for our current house system. And then it needs to be expanded later on. So we're just going to do industrial books here, and then we're going to figure out the other ones later. So, <clears throat> we also need to figure out something here, because this, this machine produces way more uh, pipes than we need. So, yeah, because we, uh, we need two pipes every eight seconds, and you produce two pipes every two seconds. So you can run four of them. So if we say you're one to three, that's going to be the best way to do it. The absolute best so let's swap these two around put this on the end i'm not sure about distances and things at the moment um we need at least a two gap between them to run pipes between them because we can't do anything underground here everything's got to be above ground so, so if we did that and then we go uh, copy this there let's bring them uh, this should go behind them like this Want to have three gap between them. If I do a three gap between them, then we know we're safe. We can connect other pipe two things as when required. That I feel is the kind of the best way to do it. We also need to have this come up and supply these, but I think this is a one-to-one, -one, isn't it? Yeah, six to one. So we need we need to supply three of these as well. Then that needs to go up to there. So a little bit more complicated than I wanted it to be. None of the stuff's ever ever been, but it may be the best way. So, oh, aren't you a one-to-one -one as well? You are yeah, you're ten seconds for a wheel with the Yeah, you're a one-to-one. -one. Okay. So we'll move that over. 
you've got to go there. Which means we need that like that. You produce one every two every six two. Yeah, so this is all balanced because of how we've done things here. I need to copy the other settings because when you copy and paste uh, your uh, machines, it copies the recipe, but it doesn't copy boosters and other things to it. So you need to make sure you go through and add the same boosters thing. So the other coin booster, thing. coin booster. That one is all about there. That one. So that's all going to feed into this absolutely perfectly well here, and there's going to be no issue whatsoever with that. So let's connect up some of these pipes. Doop, doop, doop. 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 So this one, uh, got upper level. Splitter there. And you can happily support three of them. You can support four of them technically, so three is fine. Three has no issue whatsoever. And then we can just do that. It doesn't need to be a two gap, it doesn't need to be a three gap. So I just did a three gap because it's force of habit basically. And then these need to be feeding into these as well. Uh, and they're kind of a one to one. So we need to be making all the stuff for this as well, back here, and then feeding it down, which is going to be awkward. We're going to have to feed the pipes like around and in. We could put a gap in between and then feed the pipe down it. I think we probably will. That, that would make a little bit more sense. If we break that. have to reconnect the pipes uh, because they don't connect up the way you expect them to. Okay, boom. Then do the same for this side. Uh, copy that. Build. Uh, oh, uh. Press. Up. Then we just move it over by one. So. that and then what we can do is we can put these in here recap between them we copy this paste it there paste it there and you can go up by two levels one two and come out difficult to see when you've got that yellow, uh, yeah, got the white uh, sign on top of it, but that white uh, drag here on it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's all the inputs for that coming in correctly, which is to do the rest back here. And it's copyable and tileable. Awesome. It's using, it's using a lot more space than I can use. We could squeeze it together easily more, 
but I need gaps in between things because these need to be fed with uh, fuel and iron, which is going to probably come in from the side. But a fuel and iron coming from the side, and it can do it because this is these are too high, so we can come in underneath it and just plug in as we go, which will be fine. Um, These require fuel and iron as well. Right, none of you had any booster. No, you did. You had a coin booster. Oh, okay. okay. So where is fuel and uh, so fuel is here, which is a little awkward, but not impossible to do. And this is just industrial. This isn't even a uh, uh, the other one, the uh, the um, natural resource. This is this is going to be way bigger than I expected it to be. Do we need a forest? What do I need a forest? Oh, but yeah, need a forest. But of course we do. Of course. The Euro Club books. Okay, which means that. One to one for books, isn't it? I believe. One book in six seconds. Okay, one book in six seconds. Wow. Okay. Um. I really regret doing this map. <laughs> Not the preset. Not the preset at all. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying doing this build. I really regret doing this map. I really kind of wish I picked a flatter map, which I know, I know it's kind of like, to see it, but it, I, I just feel like you either just terraform the world down to nothingness or platform above everything anyway. So might as well just go with a flat map in the first place. No real, real reason um, for for having having any height and stuff on the map. But anyhow. Anyhow, that's fine. So we want to do some houses back here. Yeah. And that. No boost on you. Nope. Okay. Um, and you require four paper. And we figured out this will make four paper. Uh, sorry. You'll do cloth and then you'll do the paper. Uh, 1.5 yeah so this needs to go like here and to build more behind it wow it's a big build a lot larger than it. you go back to there for instance You only require one input, you require two to get the here. So you will go into there, go into there. Not enough wood. Not enough wood. What? What? Oh, yeah, our, uh, our forest has stopped working. Our forest has dropped down all the trees that it can drop down and has stopped working. Which does kind of make sense. Let's uh, slap this in here.
in all the gaps with preheats. There we go. These need to come out this way. Come out this way and then go into the back of these here. These also need um, water, which I think we're going to bring up from underground. Gonna be a little awkward to do, but not impossible. Uh, so, let's go here. Cross like this. Oh. Go to there. Oh no, 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 I can't do that. I can't do that. No, no, no. no. Although I could, I don't know whether the, the actual the pipe is fast enough for uh, Oh, I said, what was that? I don't know if the pipe is fast enough to supply everything that we're trying to do here Give me some more logs, I can build some more things, please. Yeah, I don't know, um, I mean this can be boosted up way more than it needs to be right now, so this requires one every four seconds, and this produces one every four seconds. So, for every worker we put in here, we can build an extra, well, an extra wood cut. So ten, this at 10 speed can supply 10 wood cuts. I just don't know whether the actual, um, the pipe, the pipe can supply because it looks like it's doing fine. I just need to find a way to balance the output because I don't want to just do a split here and a split there, a split there because that means this gets one every every time a, a, a log goes by. It's split between straight on and this way. So this will get more than the next one. So this one, for every one this gets, the next one will only get a half because half the amount of wood is going along and it's split and then you it's, you split it again so it becomes a quarter and then. A, and every time you do that on a line, if you just split a line over and over, the first one would always gain twice as much as the next one. And that one would have gained twice as much as the one afterwards. And then you eventually get to the point where the last one's not getting any wood for it. So you actually need to build out a system that comes along and splits it evenly, kind of three ways between them. And then maybe another uh, pipe that comes out and splits it between three ways for the next one. Which is kind of what I'm worried about here with the, uh, the coal. We're going to run the coal in. Then I'm going to have to split it here, and then run the iron in and split it here. And we need this one here as well. But this one here doesn't require anywhere near as much as the others. So I kind of think that one can just tap in normally. And then the next one can come in and plug in there. The next one can come in and plug in there. So that's going to be fine. So what I'm going to do is, we've got our iron down here. Uh, let's get a, a barn going right here. Go back by one. And we'll remove the trees here. Oh, there's a divot. We don't want to divot there. Oh, oh. Then we'll get this one and we'll put it right here. Back one. And we're going to copy the same as what we did over here. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to copy this. Oh, control and C. Come down here. Control the beat from beat. Yep. And we need to run all these into there. And that's easy to do because we can do it underground because these are on solid ground. Didn't exactly plan that, but that's the way it's gone. That's cool. Go up and across. To there. Go up to there. You. All the workers into this. Ten workers into this. Ten workers into that one. Iron and coal mines. Ten workers into each, just so they can speed up and do what they do. These are split to uh, split up the way we want to do things. Like that. Right. Ooh. Don't copy that. That's uh, That's 
books. We need cotton. We'll figure cotton out in a minute. They're going to make books. We're going to run that. Uh, too high. You are one to one. I should have put you in first. If like if me, but we can just like get mass in here. Awesome. 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 And then we need to do a splitter thing here, like twice. So I need two. Same here, right? Page down. Occupy. Ah, no. Uh, no. There. there is a tree in the way. That's okay. That's, we can deal with the tree. So we come along. Copy that. Come along. Come on top one. Go down by one. Thank you. Copy. Paste there. There. And then we will have a line come out and plug into there. And then we go up by one. Another line come out. Plug into there. And I think I'm going to remove those there. Connect up that. Like that. There we go. We're going to have the same here. So you come out and take to there. Then up by one along the Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, not on the correct building. There we go. Okay. Hey. And also, you are going to get another output to there. Okay, pipe mania. Yay. <laughs> Look at all the pipes go. Woo. Okay. Right. Uh, I think I might actually siphon off from this a little bit. Might do that. Uh, right. You know what? Let's just copy that. Paste it there. between all those. Awesome. I'll feed evenly and everything will be fine. And then we can just build a second line coming out of this for the next group. Which won't be a problem at all. That's literally just copy paste. No worries there. Um, but then what I think I am going to do is uh, we're going to flatten down some this here going to uh, do that and we're going to bring out a new a new thing a new thing uh, in logistic blocks we should have a pusher and a sorter so we're going to deal with these here um the pusher and the sorter do the sorter is a bit the name's a bit weird in it but the uh, the pusher does exactly what it says on the tin it will push matching items off a belt or shoot if there's space otherwise it will let it pass a sorter does the same thing but it will not let the item pass. So, at this point, we want a pusher. And I want to face the pusher that way. And that means that any items that come down here will go along this line here. And if they can't go along this line here, 
then they're allowed to go somewhere. If we put a sorter here, any items that came down here must go this way, they cannot go any other direction. You can filter these, so if you have multiple items in a pipe, you can filter, like say we had wood and water in the same pipe. For we could filter it so, hey, wood goes this way, water goes that way. So you can do that sort of thing to make life easier for yourself. It's uh, just a, a nice little uh, way of doing things. The sorter will, as I said, will push items if there's space. If there isn't space, it ignores it. A pusher is very useful for if you're running stuff on a long line and you want to like fill the first one, the next one, the next one. So, you know, like, like here, we are prioritizing our wood build because the, the pusher is pushing the wood build this way. And then anything that isn't this way will go here. Now, remember, when you split pipes or, or uh, shoots, they go forward, left, then right. So they will choose to go forward if they can. Then they go left, then they go right. So we don't necessarily need the pusher here. This will always choose to go left before turning right because that's just the way the game is programmed. Um, but I'm going to put it there because it just gives me a visual aid to say, hey, this is exactly what it's doing. And we've got a barn now which is full of more wood for uh, our own, per own personal use. Yeah, pusher very useful. Sorter will force items and yeah, if we put a sorter here, wood will go this way. It will never be allowed to go another direction. So, uh, sorters are very useful if you have multiple items and you want to make sure a hey, wood goes down here and it never goes somewhere else so you must go wood and if there's no space just stop the whole line break the whole construction this pipe. Okay. okay okay so we need two more things we need wells and we need trees i also need to put this here so let's do that so we're going to go bottom layer and we're going to say hey would you grab coal please uh, control c and control v and control v uh, nope, that was a mistake. No, make wood into that. Okay, so there we go. coal is coming out now. Awesome. And then the top one wants to be iron. Copy. Paste. Paste. If you mouse over an item, go control and C, you copy the recipe behind it. If you mouse over an item and just press, well, it's Q by default, but for me it's C, um, you will copy the whole thing, then you hold control, put it down, and you will paste it with its recipe. Okay, so this should all be working, and these should all be getting ample enough goods in. Absolutely. You're going to get enough in, you're going to do your thing. You are filling up on wheels, steam, things, so everything's filling up. We just need books. So yeah, we can kind of preload everything. You are producing one every three seconds, and you are using two every ten seconds. What now? Oh no, you you are using you're producing. No, you're slightly faster, aren't you? Because the one point five. Because we need you to run at one every eight seconds, so you are now running at one every six point six six seconds. And then this at the two runs at one every. Yeah, two every six seconds is yeah, and this is requires two every six point six seconds because it's running at one point five. So that's why that's balanced. So this is balanced. We did we did do the math correctly on this. Maths. Mathematics. Maths were done correctly. So this is all good. This is all gonna start backing up obviously doing this thing. Um, yeah. So we need uh water. We need water to go here. What I think I'm gonna do, how much water do we need? One every four seconds. A well produces one every two seconds. So a single well for this will be fine. Although this has got two workers in there, slightly fast. Now what I'm thinking is, I don't know if this is gonna work or not, because I'm not sure exactly how. This block here, and we're going to build it up until it's above the water, like that. There we go. Oh, looks a bit weird, but if it looks weird and works, who cares? Uh, then we're going to put in these here. Now, wells, um, when they're next to water, they gain a bonus.
Try me the, uh, it doesn't try me the rest. In fact, it's not showing me on here that it's got bonus. Oh no, they were connected water tower. So, so it's going to produce one every two seconds for its normal production. But because it's next to the water, it will produce one every one second on top. So it's getting three every two seconds of water. So these can well and truly keep up with the lumber was above. So what we want to do is we want to run an omni pipe, or not even an omni pipe, a standard pipe, out from these, up and into the. Which I'm not exactly sure whether I can do that or not. So let's let's grab a pipe. Fluid pipe. We don't need an omni pipe for this. Just a fluid pipe. I think what's gonna happen here is uh we're gonna have to come out by one because we need to grab the water. Come out by one and then can't zoom in any further. So this is gonna be a little awkward to do in places. Out by one. Gonna remove this. And then what we want to do is we want to go up. Gonna over exaggerate we're going to. Up. And then it needs to go into here. But I don't know how to get it to go into there. this fluid connector and I'm going to change it to be input and copy it again and I'm going to paste it there and there and there. I'm going to remove that. Okay and then we can fill the floor in like this. We can't run pipes through flooring. That would be quite nice, but um, can't. You you can. Wait, what? What you can run? Oh. I did not know that was a thing. I did not know that was a thing. Can I put in? Can I go? Pay? Oh, I can. Awesome. There we go. It runs through the flooring. I didn't know that was a thing. That's cool. I like that. I like that. There we go. So it's coming out and going up. I could have moved the pipe straight and done life easier here, but we're, we'll do it that way because it's easier. And there we go. So now you're getting water, which means you're producing paper, which means you're going to get paper, which means you're full, which is awesome. Uh, now what we need is a farm. And we are out of time, but I'm going to do it anyway. Why not? So. Um, where do we put the farm? Now this is going to expand this way, so I don't want to build anything over here. Because we need to double this yet. We still have we still have we still need to double this. Which is gonna be interesting. Um Yeah, especially trying to get the stuff from the barns over. Um really what I should do is I should double it and then flip it and put it over this side. That would make my life easier because of then the harvester and these are all centered. Centered? Not centered. Centered would make life my life very easier but you can't flip in this game uh, you can't you can't like, select a thing copy it there's no there's no flip option so we'd have to basically rebuild it and reverse it around so maybe we'll just put it on the end here and just extend all the stuff out so we could extend like these pipes things along further so anything that's coming from these barns we'll just extend that further uh, and then we just have to figure out this here. I mean, we could even just speed this one up and extend this one along as well and have this single machine shop running all of them. So but let's get the three going first, shall we? Before we, before we look at that. So we need to come like back over here or something because there's no other flat land. This, this is why this is why I regret doing this map because <laughs> we need flat land for crops and yeah. Okay, let's. Uh... Okay, that off this here as well. Farm. Maybe we'd get two farms in here. Don't need two farms. 
but I want to build two farms just in case. So one and two, yes we can. Awesome. Cotton. Plant cotton. Awesome. And then the cotton just needs to come out and go over to here. I've done two farms for redundancy. We don't need two. We really do not need two, but we'll put them all into a single barn. And even though these have disappeared with their uh, um, the question mark saying, hey, we've got stuff. They're not. Because they were placed down with no recipe, they're now not using these recipes. So I'm going to auto manage these, which means they will automatically grab the, uh, the stuff that he's put. Always got to do is check your farms when you put them down to make sure that they are actually doing the thing you want them to do, because sometimes they just don't. Sometimes they just don't do the things you want them to do, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, now, this requires cloth, and I've messed this up. I've only left a two gap here, and I really should have left a, a three gap. Yeah. Which is a bit of a pain because I really want to uh, have another one of these split things here, but we need three gaps for them. Although we don't, we don't actually need a three gap. So let's copy this, here. and we have to put it here, but we're gonna have to raise it up. But at least one. Can I raise it up? No. Why can I not raise it up? Why can I sometimes raise them up and other times can't? That's very, very bizarre. Quite sure on the, uh, the mechanics behind it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Now I can raise up this. Very weird. Don't quite know. Yeah, whatever. Fine. Fine. Matters not. Okay. Then we're going to come over here. From this barn here, we're going to go up by one. Drag out. I don't think I even need to go up by one, if I'm honest with you. I think we are. No, I did. I need to go. What was that? Is that? That is dead level. So we need to go up by two. Are you. Uh, one, two, come out. Uh, oh. Okay, uh, one, two, come out. Come over to here. Oh, now you're not touching that one below. Good, we don't want you to touch that one below. And then what we can do is we can come along and down. No, no, along. Along. Down. And because of the way these pipes work, that is valid. Coming down into the top of a splitter is completely valid and will still split evenly the way you want it to. So, yeah. Let's increase all the people here. Zoom. And then we need to just run another another line out for the second one. We plug. Yeah. Okay. okay. And that should be it. That should be it. This just needs cloth. Uh, oh, needs extra workers in them. We didn't copy the extra workers. Two, two, no. one, 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 no boosters, no, one every six, use one every six, okay, and that should be getting us industrial research, and then we need to copy and paste it over, which means doing a lot more things, so all we've got to do is wait for this to grow, and we'll be good as gold, but that's going to have to happen next episode, because I'm already nearly 10 minutes over the normal length that I do, so there we go. There we go. Lots of expanding of things there. Lots of stuff going on there. We are finally starting to see the pipe mania part of this scenario. Loads of pipe. Loads of pipe. And it's all very... All, I, I like it because it's all very... You can easily mouse over and trace which pipe goes where. Uh, yes, there's a couple of layering, but I like it. So, okay. We'll do this one here. We'll come back next time. We will carry on from then. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.